Hello everyone, my name is David. I'm a student pilot and today I am trying and flying for the first time the new TBM 900 that came out. I am um, flying as Power 66. As you can see the livery from here. I am at Charlotte and I'm flying a VFR to Orlando. So everything's been called. I already said everything. Ground. And we are cleared to taxi Delta 5 to Delta. And we will be taking off at runway 36 right. So it's my first time flying this uh, TBM. A lot of information here. Um, and I just to slow it down a little bit and if I'm doing this wrong I know I'm gonna get a lot of uh, messages in regarding to this but um, reading the manual the POH that comes with this you just set it a little bit so it is not taxing and the plane's not getting away from you so And as you can see, it's a little toasty in the ears here. Three six right. And it looks like we slow down too much. <laughs> everyone is having a good night as much as possible with this um, everyone's still under some type of quarantine and I hope I don't lose my ex-pilot again power 66 monitor or shadow tower and modern appointment have a safe flight okay going to tower 118.1 have a good night see ya So let's go to the tower. Oh, why? And then we have um, one three two point. Oh, I got to make sure that is correct. I got to make sure. Just make sure we have this because it looks like I messed up on that. Departures one three two nine seven. See in the ears there. Uh, there's a couple different uh, end, end pieces on the chart, and I put it in the sky vector. It wants to do uh, as your four. Let's do that. I don't know uh, why so I have that. Though. I'll have to fix this. I have to fix that upon departure here. 
we are supposed to be going to MCO, not Charlotte. And I know he's talking to someone, so. Oh, there it goes. All right. Um, so that would be the end of the route right there. And on the chart, it shows a pair of fixes out beyond that. But that's the end of the follow of the magenta line, you know, out on the, uh, the after. So I, I think my delivery controller was just a little confused on. We're waiting here. Uh, making sure that we do not cover radio traffic. We had taxi light on, nav, just waiting. I can't hear the other, but we'll be fine here. So we have to ensure I have to get used to this too because the auto select right here altitude it's over here on this side and I know he just finished talking but let I just check on there and good evening, Charlotte Tower, power 66, holding short 36 right, ready for departure. Okay, right wind departure and clear for takeoff 36 right for power 66. And just to verify, uh, departure frequency 132.97. And no problem regarding, I heard you talking, I have no issues with that. Okay, so let's just go right here. Six, right. Landing, strobes on. And a little bit off On center runway, there. Three, six, right. Have to do better than that. And take off power is set. I'm having problems with my VATSIM. And he did say nothing higher than 3,500. So we're going to hand fly, uh, try to much as hand fly this as possible.
And we'll keep on turning her. And see how she looks like out here. And we'll go to our right downwind departure. Let's hand fly this. Okay, 180 for power 66. I'm not used to the autopilot yet, so while we're still in B Bravo, we are going to maintain and keep on bringing her over to 180 as instructed to. Looks like we're going to be flying right over Charlotte. All right, one eight zero as advised. say no higher than three five zero so let's just do that heading autopilot and altitude selected let's try this It looks like I have to turn it a little bit because I'm having problems with the um, All right, we're set at 3500. Just dropped a little bit. Uh, American five. All right, so here we are. Just make sure we can hear the tower still. Okay, we're all set up um, for for our next after um, to hand us off to Atlanta, 132.97. We're not too high, so we're not going to be putting on the pedo, pedo tube heat or anything in that nature. And until he gives me... Power 66 constant, Pentagon 133.9 or 7 LF for real. All right, you advise 133, correct? No, I, got, I have received 132. Power 66, yeah, my apologies. 132.9 or 7, sorry about that. 
Uh, it's no problem. 132 port 97 for power 66. Have a good night, sir. See ya. So we're we're gonna go over here to com. Going to the Washington one three three point seven two. Good night. Travel twenty three ten. What's up? And good evening, Atlanta Center. Power sixty six one eight zero on the heading level at three five zero zero. Power 66, I filed VFR flight following, and they gave me a direction of 180 till I got to you. Power 63, we should now navigation, maintain VFR, monitor the frequency chart of altimeter is 2909.04. 2909.04 for power 66, sir. Okay, so, own navigation, so. On Delta 2025, contact Atlanta approach, 125.7. All right, so we're going to go direct. American 247, contact Washington 133.72. Blue 72, let's see if I got this right here. Well, have a great night. Delta 1442, this is going to maintain for level 240. Nav. Alright guys, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? I am flying GPS. Nav. Heading. What did I do wrong here? Orlando, activate. That's what it was. I did a flight plan at 8,500, and that's what I wanted to do. I'm usually flying so low, and um, you tell my own nav, so that's what we're going to do. He's going to hand me off to Jacksonville here pretty soon anyway. So what we're going to do is VS. Climb back up. So I'm going to 207, this is going to maintain for level 180. Fly level 180, some country 207. And uh, we're doing pretty good here. Number 247, Victor, that's Atlanta. Welcome aboard. Proceed to green. Your destination. So, I'm going to keep the intercept on until we climb. And I don't have anything else open, I don't believe. I just have the, um, for power on, but everything else is off. So I don't continue getting that. Now look at this. So for Orlando, it shows everything. This is pretty good. I'm not an instrument pilot, so I can't really, for those who, to read this. Um, field elevation at 96. 
and there's just custom. I usually fly into um, to this side in regarding to it because um, there's some FBO's uh, signature and everything is over here. There is another FBO over here too, but um, just try to stay away from um, the airlines coming through. But this is, um, let me see what this does. So for those who are instrument pilots, um, this TBM has everything. Oh, let me go back. traffic back I know I probably have to do something over here to make this go back out okay we're two nautical Just miles four to team 42 cross all the other maintain one two thousand along on team engine two nine or nine or two all right so we're out there let's see what this does at the 1442, all the other maintain 1,000. Limited 2,992. Oh, okay, here we go. So we have the GPS. Swan Conjure 207, Frequency Change of Blue, have a good night. Over to Unicom, have a good night. Swan Conjure 207, thanks. Power 66, change approved, have a good night. Frequency change approved for Power 66, have a good night. So apparently, no one else. So, what that means here. At the 1445, for maintain for So let's switch this over here. So let me know when you and 1 to 2.8, and we're on Unicom as we fly. So we're not going to be talking to anyone anymore. Uh, we don't have Jacksonville's not open. No, the only thing is Miami, and we're not going to be talking to Miami at all. So we're coming up to 8,500, and we should be living out here. Beautiful airplane. First time flying it. Under 10,000, I'm still leaving my lights on. I do not have the um, scenery for um, South or North Carolina or Georgia. Let me make sure I don't. Okay. All right, so we're still all in the green and I believe this has a checklist for everything. Like I said, first time flying it, it is real as it will get. In regard, I mean, there's so much still to go through. So, for those who are looking to buy this, it goes through everything from the startup, how to start up the engines, and to let you know, if you mess up the startup, the sequence on here, you blow up the engine, you have to buy a new one. Um, so. Let's see after we, this is all startup. Um, I was going through the paper chart that I had uh, when I bought the airplane. Um, I was going through that and not using this checklist, but now that I know it's here, 
Uh, we still have strobes, fuel gauges, everything is still good on here. 124 on the climb, and I think I was doing 115, 120. Uh, I could be wrong. I know someone's going to look at it and say, Dave, you were wrong. But yaw damper is still um, still on. I'm leaving the lights on. Under 10,000 feet, I'm leaving the lights on in regarding to that. And throttle is adjusted here. We are in the green, as we can see, for everything. Can we push more back? Uh, let's see. Let me see. Oh, it's starting to drop. We're doing pretty good where we're at. If anyone ever flies this for in um, IRL, let me know um, if this is as real. Preservation check. On. I have the fuel. I hate that. Left tank, 140 gallons. Auto, auto, auto. No. And I guess I didn't. I thought I had the strobes on. I guess I didn't. I thought I pressed it. I don't know. I know I have AC bleed. Oh, pressure. Auto. Okay. Cruise parameter. Everything is still good. Ground speed's 224. And no de-icing. And this is for our descent. All right, let's check this out. What was that? Operate. I'm back. And let me see what this was. Let us try. Is it on stand? Oh, okay. there it goes. Wow. Okay. Well, we have um, just a departure out of there, out of Charlotte, and I'll see you guys when I'm closer to Orlando International. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are 17 miles away from Orlando International Airport. And I'm still having problems with my ex-pilot, so we're not going to continue with that. And as you can see, I do have True Earth, Florida. It looks really good. I really do like how it, um, if you haven't had... Um, you haven't bought True Earth for Florida. If you'll fly out of Florida, it looks really good.
I'm trying one more time with X-Pilot to see if it goes through or not. So we are... Just outside of um, 48 miles. So, what we're going to do is, as um, we're supposed to be at, it will have 4,000. Uh, apparently, it's kicking me off again. Yes. I don't have anything else open, but continues to have some issues. Let's bring the power back just a little bit while we descend. As I, again, I told you, uh, this is my first time flying the TBM, and I'm trying all the instruments. I'm trying everything out to see how it works. Um, beautiful shot. You should be able to see Ormond Beach here pretty soon. Let's see if I can get closer. Oh, yep. There she is, Ormond Beach. And let's look a little bit to the right and see. And coming right in front of us is going to be, it's going to be the land airport. So we're descending here to 4,000. We're doing 700 feet per minute. And since I got disconnected from the network again, Our descent checklist altimeter has been checked to 99.2, excuse me, to 99.2, and we don't have anything regarding to the windshield misprotection. Fuel quality is um, on the right. It is on auto. Uh, passenger briefing. We're going to be landing um, on 18 right in Orlando. And we have to make sure our seat belts are fastened. Belts, harnesses. And it actually says passenger uh, tables are stowed in upright position for the TBM 900. So checklist is complete for descent. When we get closer, we'll do the approach. And we continue to descend. And there is no uh, ATC at all for VATSIM tonight in this area, out of Jacksonville. When I flew out of um, Charlotte, there was. So here we go. We're just, um, just getting outside of just north of... Um, Try 33 nautical miles north of Orlando International. We'll be passing over to land here in a minute, which you see off to our left.
And it's been a great flight um, from Charlotte to Orlando. I really enjoy this aircraft. So I am flying VFR, so I am descending to the 4,000 out of 8,500. Now for those who fly IFR, I believe they would um, give you some points of, uh, or advise you at, at 4,000 or at 4,000 um, at that um, specific uh, waypoint of naval there. But I don't know for sure, but I'm just using VFR flight rules right now. So 1,000 left to go for 4,000. You guys can, who are instrument rated, can leave a comment and advise how would that go. I'm not familiar with that, so... Not bad at all. Usually when I fly into Orlando, I usually fly out of Kissimmee, Orlando. I go to Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Executive, flown to Key West, Miami, Jax, Tampa. Um, of course, I go into um, Georgia, the Carolinas. Um, I have flown up north in the New York area, Buffalo, Long Island, and of course I did um, I did fly out of, out of the West Coast and uh, did some flying out of Las Vegas and everything. But I I I, I usually like flying out of the East Coast. I'm familiar with everything. Um, it's just my personal preference. I know you become a better pilot flying other areas that you're not aware of but for me I, I just like flying my VFR outside in this area in the east coast I guess you could say all right 100 feet left to go for 4,000 And actually, I just caught a mistake I just did. We are flying at a heading of 190. And what does that mean for VFR flight rules? Anyone? We are supposed to be at 4500. And I did not catch that. So just bring it back up to 4,500. We have to make sure we stay plus or minus 500. And we are heading at 191. So we are supposed to be at 4,500. If we were IFR or whatever, I, I believe that's how it goes. The um, whatever uh, the tower gives you for descending, uh, we would follow. But at this point, we're flying VFR rules, so we are flying at 4,500 into we get close enough, and we are descending into our runway of 18 right. All right, we're probably around 10 miles out of um, Orlando. Let's see if I can get this closer here and see how that looks.
power set. At 4,500, we are still looking good. 14 miles. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try to use this um, approach. First time using it, autopilot and everything. So. And we do have the ATIS, four flight is um, screaming. 190 at seven. And we're landing at 18 right, so perfect runway. Not too bad, seven VFR. Temperature 24, 2.18 altimeter. And of course, I'm not using real world weather, so, uh, but the altimeter is 2996. So, getting closer. And we are seven minutes away from Orlando International. We should be seeing it pretty soon coming up to our there's um there's Orlando city of Orlando and then you have the old airport Orlando that is that will be flying in real world you have to fly over it at over 2000 or they um, deviate you from from that airspace to the left to the right um, but usually it's over the top you fly um, not lower than 2000 feet when I have flown I mean I, and I don't fly um, instrument, so VFR I have flown right over the top at 2,000 and then deviated to the right to go into Kissimmee and and went through almost close to Bravo, but went through the shelves outside of Bravo and to get into Kissimmee. So... Airport, and I believe the other airport's really close. I don't know if but vertical track. Hmm. Let's see what this does here. Because it's showing four point four point nine. Let's bring our speed back a little bit because we can't. Um, Approach flaps can be dropped at 178 or lower. So we're going to bring it down just a little bit, bring that speed back.
we're 52 seconds into reaching that first point and see if we can track it to 1-8 right. See if I did this right. If not, I'll hear it. And since we're getting closer, we're supposed to be down at 4,000. And we're going to be a couple of hundred feet on that. And then Owner at four, and then our next point would be 3,000. And there's the turn. Okay, first NASA flaps for approach flaps is set. And there's the balloon up just a little bit. And first national flaps, verified and confirmed. Set and confirmed. And we continue down. To 3,000. And we are on a final. Okay, we're. On our approach, altimeters have been set, landing gear are down, fuel quantity is is still set on left, it's on auto. And then we go back over here and interceptor is on, lights, landing, everything is set. We make sure we are good. And I'm trying to see if it'll continue going down, but it's, um, I think we're a little bit, well, I guess I'm going to have to I'm not doing this right. All right, let is, let's just hand fly this. Initial separator is on. Landing lights are on. And we did our approach checklist. For any reason, there is a issue and we have to go around. MCO on this airport right here, what we're going through is a right traffic. So we would turn right uh, since we're doing VFR and um, we'll sidestep to the right because there's a runway to the left. And there is Orlando, it, 
executive right there. We're going to be passing right over the top here. Okay, we're ready to go. Speed is still good. Landing flaps are not until 122. Approach flaps are 178. You ready to head that set? Gear is down. And we've been brief. And we're off to the side. And there's our synthetic vision and our tracking. That is so cool. 172s don't have this. Well, the 172s I fly don't have this. <laughs> so. Okay, we're getting to our and yaw damper is off. Yaw damper is off and we're last match of flaps and a slight balloon up as predicted. Still a little too high. Speed is good. Everything's still in the green. Thirteen hundred. And we're three miles out from the airport. Everything's still good. Beautiful airport. Let's just continue down. Actually, um, the, the, the information for the TBM 900 doesn't give me on this checklist, um, the, um, the speeds. Let me see how it looks like at night. See if I can get it to go to nights here. And we're still doing it. Right. Okay, verify. Three green. We're still good in our speed.
and we're at 500. Everything's still looking good. Field in sight, continuing. And we're still good. Three hundred. Still in the glide flow. down to the ground. My first landing. And I forgot they it has um, reverse and uh, I'm not used to using it. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Orlando International Airport. My first ever flight with the TBM 900 it's um it was good loved it I can actually say um, I would do it again of course if I was on Vatsum I would have called and did everything that we were supposed to do but We are not. So I want to thank thank everyone for um, for flying with me. Off oh, center line here. And after landing checklist here while we're taxing to that. Yes, we didn't have the de-icing on. Prop interceptor is still on. Windshield, all that was off. So our radar was already off. And we're going to leave the transport over here in, um, in uh, Class B. We have to leave it on. Flaps are up. Strobes are off. And, um, you know, we just park it over here. We're going to maintenance.
All right. So we're on that. We are going to make sure our chocks are set. We're going to come down here and make sure parking brakes are set. Parking brakes are set. And we go and and make sure that everything else is is um, go through our checklist. Ace and bleed is that's what I was trying to do here. All right, so we're gonna turn off. AC is off on the off position. Throttle is uh, we have to set it for um, two minute idle here and taxi light is off um, leave the um, nav light on here on and insert switcher down is off and throttle cut back oh. throttle cut it set it off all switches is off let's go back over here I might have messed that up on off 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 we have everything off and nope, I don't want coffee. Off, and we didn't use oxygen, and the parking brake is set. So, as you can see, it was a um, a nice flight out of Charlotte into um, Palm Beach. Oh, excuse me, to Orlando International Airport. And the only thing I have to do now is ensure that I have, when everything, when the engines cool down, that we have everything set. Passenger is out of there. And the door close. And when the engine cools down, we're good. So, um, thank you very much for uh, joining me. Again, my name is David. I'm a student pilot, and today I flew the TBM 900 for um, as Power 66. I have power set. Uh, I'll leave the description in there if you guys want to know anything more about that um, flying um, club. Besides that, thank you very much, and have a wonderful night. See ya.